Hi everybody, this is Aino. In this video, I'll share the thickest pork cutlet rice bowl in Takeuchi. Let's go! Today, I came to Nikiya Shokudo Takeuchi. It's a butcher, so it specializes about meat. It serves very, very, very thick pork cutlet katsudon. It's about 5 cm around. I already posted another video about katsudon. It'll be so much pleasure if we watch that video too. In addition, I'll share my recommendation way to have katsudon at the very end of the video. I hope you enjoy the video till the end. Before then, I'll share about the shop first. Inside of the restaurant is big and wide open space. This is Komon style Japanese local restaurant. Many tables and counter seats are ready for customers. This is the menu. It's a butcher, so all the menu is about meat. There's no English menu, but there are images for food on the menu, so I guess we can easily order. There's no waiting machine, so we need to order two shop stops. Today, I'll have extremely thick pork cutlet katsudon. This is the image of the food. I'm already excited to have it! By the way, pork miso soup and pickled veggies come with katsudon. And also, we can select amount of rice from 150 gram up to 500 gram for same price. This is awesome! For a while later, shop staff will bring it to us. My food has arrived. This is custom meal that I ordered today. I'll share from custom first. This is extremely thick pork cutlet katsudon. It costs 1639 yen. It's about 12.41 US dollars. It's amazing! Pork cutlet is very, very, very thick, more than I thought. I'm worried about I can have it all today. Let's see in detail. First one is pork cutlet. We call it tonkatsu in Japanese. It's usually about 2 cm thickness, but this tonkatsu is double size. I'm not sure I can bite it off. Fluffy half boiled beaten egg is under tonkatsu. It's very soft. I can chop it by chopsticks very easy, but it's hard to hold it. It's oval. Finely cooked rice is at the bottom. Tonkatsu, boiled beaten egg, and rice make fantastic taste in the mouth. I'll also share about meal. Main dish is katsudon. Japanese famous soup. Miso soup comes with it. Pickled veggies and special katsudon sauce are also in the meal. Some seasonings also in the meal. I'll share about this later. Let's have katsudon. Please subscribe my channel. Itadakimasu. Let's start katsudon meal. I'll have, of course, from katsudon, pork cutlet. Look at this. It's huge and so thick. Itadakimasu. Wow! Wow! This is good! It gives me so much happiness to chew it! Oh. This is amazingly chewy! The more I chew it, the more tasty meat juice comes out! It's thick, but it's really tender! Next, I'll have egg and rice. Sorry about the video, it's overexposed. It looks great! Ah! It's so soft. Egg is nicely hard and soft. It's really fluffy. It's usually seasoned by soy sauce and soup stock, but this is not. I guess I should use special katsudon sauce. So I'll have tonkatsu with katsudon sauce. I'll put tonkatsu to sauce. I guess this is enough. Itadakimasu! It's great! This is special katsudon sauce. It's slightly gooey. It tastes soy sauce, soup sauce, and slightly sour. Next, I'll have miso soup. I love it. Let me try. Nice! It has very gentle taste. This is so tasty. It tastes great balance of miso and soup stock and pork fat. There is something in miso soup. Let's see how it is and tastes like. It's like noodles. Oh, it tastes good. Ingredients are Japanese radish, deep fried tofu, and pork. Japanese radish are well boiled, so it's really soft. Deep fried tofu is very common topping for miso soup. Let's put katsudon sauce to katsudon. I believe it's gonna be much tastier. 
I think this is good. What do you think? Does it look better for you? Let's have it. Wow, okay, okay. It's way better. I had pure tonkatsu, that one before. That tasted really enjoyable on natural pork, but this time it's different. It's more salty and tasty. I have extra seasonings. Let's see it. These are seasonings for katsudon. Left end is chopped dry seaweed. Middle one is wasabi. It's quite rare to see it with katsudon. Right end is chili pepper. It seems it's roasted and mixed up with something like sesame and others. I'll try chili pepper first. Take some chili pepper and put it onto tonkatsu to have. How does it change the taste? Mmm, it's really punchy. Its spiciness makes tongs much better. This is great spices. Chili pepper, ginger, use citrus peel, and sesame are so fragrant. It's not really spicy, but it has great sound and stimulation. Next one is wasabi. I'll also put it onto tonkatsu to have. This is unusual, but it looks good. Wow, it smells great. Wasabi makes it very refresh. It's not fiery wasabi. This tastes really mild. It's good contrast with chili pepper. Last one is chopped dry seaweed. Let's put it onto tonkatsu again. It looks good. Itadakimasu! This is familiar taste. It's good. It's pretty common to have tonkatsu and dry seaweed together. Dry seaweed makes it slightly fragrant. It tastes under the sea. My mouth is pretty oily, so let's have water. It's good. Last dish for katsu meal is pickled veggies. We call it oshinko. It tastes so refreshed and it's so crunchy. Oshinko is very familiar side dish for Japanese meal. Some veggies are usually used for oshinko. It has gentle taste of salt and vinegar. So this is all about Takeuchi and extremely thick katsudon. Takeuchi is the butcher. So we can have wonderful meat dishes and we can take away all the menu. It's great. They also sell ready to eat food. These are various kind of food we can choose such as salad, roasted beef, deep fried things, etc. Price is very reasonable so it's a great place to have meal in the restaurant or having food to stop and go. Extremely thick pork cutlet katsudon is marvelous. This is the thickest tonkas I've ever had. It's chewy yet so tender. It's so much volume to bite it off. Takeuchi not only serves katsudon, it serves extremely thick tonkatsu as well. So if you love pork cutlet, you must have katsudon or tonkatsu in Takeuchi. Otherwise, you miss great opportunity to have brilliant pork cutlet. I promise you that you love this big and thick katsudon. I'll have Japanese tea for the last. This katsudon is awesome! Tonkatsu is so big and thick. It's brilliant. I'm so full now. Extra seasonings are good. I prefer chili pepper is the best. It's so great. Let me know your favorite seasoning. I hope you enjoyed my video. These are my recommendation videos that you may like. Please click the like button and subscribe my YouTube channel and follow my social medias. This is all of today. Have a good day and good night. Bye!